everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you something that's a little different. Um, I follow uh, my newest addiction, my yeah, my newest addiction on Instagram. I'll link her Instagram down below. And she does this like, well she had started doing this like, like monthly kind of photo a day beauty prompts. For the month of February she decided not to do it and instead she promoted Lipstick League's photo of the day. So I decided to do Lipstick League's photo of the day for February. Let me tell you, I'm horrible with it. I always forget to do it. I've only done a few of them. One of the ones that I did do, the prompt was favorite blushes, or blush stash was what it was. And instead of doing my whole blush stash, because I kind of felt that that was bragging in a little way and I didn't want to do that, I instead went with my favorite blushes. And I picked five of my favorite blushes. Um, and I got to thinking about it and I thought, hey, that'll make a great video and blog post. So I'm totally going to do that. So you're going to have to tell me down below in the comments if you like these kind of videos and if you want to see like my favorite mascaras, my favorite, fun, you know, that kind of thing. So we're going to jump on in and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about each one. Um, I'm not going to go on too long. I'm going to try to keep this rather short. So the first blush that is one of my favorites is Benefits Feeling Dandy or Dandelion and it's part of the Feeling Dandy set. And this set is currently not complete as the highlighter that is in there. Um, I used it the other day and it's in one of my makeup bags. But this is one of those sets where it comes with several different products for you to try for like the price of one. So they're miniatures and it's like the posy tint. It was the um, high beam highlighter. It is the dandelion lip balm. And then it also is the Dandelion Blush, which is this kind of soft, pale um, blush. It doesn't really have any shimmer to it. It doesn't have a lot of shimmer to it. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I wear this when I'm not wanting like a lot of color, when I'm just wanting just a little pop of color on my cheeks. And I just love it. It also comes with the little brush. So I love, 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 love this one. You can also, believe, I believe, get the dandelion in the box blush, which I'm going to talk about next. So, my next favorite blush is Benefit's Hervana. I love this. This is one of their boxed blushes. And this one is one of the most, is the mosaic one, where it's like the pinwheel of colors. And you just put your brush in, you swirl it, and then you just swirl it on your cheeks. So, it kind of gives you a nice, super pigmented um, blush. I wear this one when I'm wanting a bit more of a of a pop of color, but still not kind of pow in your face. Um, these can be built up if you want that, but these are best kind of just with a, a light color. Now the next two are newer to me. Um, I actually just got them and I got them, I don't know if you can see it, in that little box set for Christmas and it's actually the first set of Tarte blushes that I own and I love them now. This one is savored and it has, it's kind of a, a deeper pink and it has a bit of shimmer in there. Um, it is kind of like a duskier pink. Uh, the Tarte ones are Amazonian clay and they are 12 hours and as you can see it is way more pigmented than what the other two are. Now if you have a light hand you can still get away with just a light pop of color with these but I've noticed with these that it you can kind of get a little bit more color. So when I want that light flush, that's kind of like a little bit darker, I hit I hit one of this. I hit this one. The next one is Pampered. Again, it is one of the Amazonian clay uh, 12 hours. It is not, it doesn't have any shimmer. It is another kind of flat, but this one is kind of more of a of a kind of like a, a peachy pink. Again, it's a little bit more pigmented than the other ones, but it's not, I would say, as pigmented as what Savored is. And again, there's no shimmer to it. So I really, really, really love this one. And my last one is, hands down, my Dior Rose Diamond. I had to hunt all over the place for this one. It is 
hands down my favorite blush in my entire collection. It goes from a pale, pale color over to a bright pink. Again, I use this the same way. While you can use it, like just pull a strip up of like the bright pink with like a smaller brush. Um, I tend to just swirl into it and just pop it straight across. It gives a nice shimmer, a nice highlight along with the blush. I'm currently actually wearing it right now. So, it, like I said, it has tons of shimmer. It has pigmentation out of this world. It's just flat out gorgeous. Love it. So those are my favorite blushes. If And like I said, if this is like a post that you'd like to see kind of other, you know, topics on, if you'd like to see, since these were more high end, if you'd like to see like what my favorite drugstore blushes are, then leave me some comments down below of things you'd like to see. And until next time, bye.